We begin tonight with word that a Nueces County grand jury is about to hear evidence in the case where U.S. Marshals shot and killed a man last year. This happened on October 5th. That man, 43 year old Daniel Garcia. Yeah, it happened at the Whispering Wind Apartments as they were trying to serve a warrant on the unarmed man. Michael Gibson has the details for us, including the man's daughter, who's hoping to see justice served. Every day, 18 year old Janae Elizaldi stops at her father's memorial here at the Whispering Wind Apartments off of West Point Road. Her father was 43 year old Daniel Garcia, who was killed by U.S. Marshals back on October the 5th of last year. That as they tried to serve him a felony warrant for cocaine distribution. This week, a grand jury is set to meet to decide whether or not the shooting was justified. I just wish that. I would see some justice go on because he was unarmed, he didn't have nothing, and so it was just, I feel like it was a really wrongful killing. Janae also tells 3 News that her dad never had a gun. DPS had told 3 News that Garcia had a violent history and they had feared he could have been armed at the time. Marshals had tracked Garcia to his girlfriend's apartment here at Whispering Wind. He was in his vehicle when Marshals boxed him in here at the entrance and shot him to death. I turned 18 and I'm finally a woman. And he's not here to see that. It's just super hard, super, super hard. And I wish that, I wish that the jury would see how heartbroken it has made, not just me, but my mom and my siblings, everybody in my life, even my friends, my friends loved him. The Texas Rangers investigated the shooting death and are set to help lay out the evidence that they have for the grand jury members. All of that will be done in secret. District Attorney Mark Gonzalez explains that a grand jury looks at every felony case and decides whether there's enough evidence for an indictment. They look at all the cases that come in that are felonies, not misdemeanors. Um, they get a review, all the evidence that we may have, and they decide whether the case should go forward. Uh, the burden of proof in that is not the same as beyond a reasonable doubt. Um, it's a lower burden, but nonetheless, they, the community decides. The DA's office can't go forward unless the grand jury says so. This 18-year-old says she's hoping that the grand jury will decide that her dad's case should go to trial. She simply wants to see justice for her dad. Michael Gibson, 3 News.